Welcome to 16.6 kickoff. My name is Jackie Porter and I'm the product manager over Pipeline Execution Group, which covers merge trains, continuous integration, and several other key categories for making CI lovable inside of GitLab. I'm joined here with Vita Kamistra, our fearless product designer. And in 16.6, we'll be focused on uh, making merge trains lovable, as well as delivering some key usability features and enhancing our compliance posture. For our first areas of improvement, we're going to be adding merge immediately option um, button without uh, interrupting the merge train. So right now, if you were to enable this item in the uh, in the settings, uh, which is a feature that we're releasing in 16.6, 16.5, um, you wouldn't be able to tell in the button, you would only get the option to merge immediately. We want to be able to add to the button that you can merge immediately without restarting the train. So there's better visibility into what you will be doing and the impacts on your commit history. Uh, so really excited for this transparency and what you'll be doing to your merge requests when you enable this setting. Um, additionally, the, the usability fix that will be um, enabling in 16.6 is adding a link to the change that was committed. Uh, so when you commit a particular change, you get this banner up the top that says that your changes have been successfully committed. So what we're going to be adding is a link here so that it drops you into the changes and you can specifically see where that change is um, in, your, in your change history. This is just a nice quality of life improvement that will uh, connect you back to your changes easily. Uh, it was some feedback that we received in our usability uh, benchmark study. I will now pass it off to Vitika, who will talk about what she'll be working on this milestone. Thanks, Jackie. So taking the cue from what Jackie just mentioned about quality of life, um, the two issues that kind of connect to that. So on the user experience front, we'll be spending time, this milestone, improving the navigation as well as search experience for job logs. Um, the first one is improved job log search by expand, expanding sections. Uh, if you're aware, we do have a feature for searching for errors in the job log. But when you're doing so, anything that is any result that's in a collapse section, it is not highlighted well. Um, it is not discoverable, I think, at all right now. So that's what we'll be working on in making the results in the collapse sections more discoverable. Moving to the next one improve the experience of navigating through errors in job logs. So um, this is kind of broad and we'll be like exploring a few solutions here. So through this issue, we will attempt to make the debugging workflow easier for pipelines and jobs. So yeah, stay tuned to see what we are going to be adding to this. And we are always like, uh, we'll welcome any feedback. Now, apart from these two issues, uh, I'm going to undertake a scorecard research for merge trains to identify the areas where we need to make changes and improvements. And if you're a user of merge trains and would like to be a part of the research activity, please reach out to either me or Jackie and uh, yeah, we would connect with you. And that's all from me. Awesome. Thank you so much, Vitika, for, for taking some time to showcase what you'll be working on. Um, well, this is going to be an incredible release. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to at JRE Porter, and we'll talk to you soon.